Well, come on, come guys. We have the latest patch notes and also message from Amazon and also Smartgate RPG. So I haven't read into it. Let's have a look. This just came out. So it's been a launch chance to launch and there's a few things and, you know, through upcoming surprises, let's tap into it. So this is going to be the new roadmap and also new aggros, skins and content and also everything. So I actually have to email. Let me try to read quickly. So where is there some you know, players who stay in here? So they're saying players are staying in tier 1 and tier 2 for a longer duration. Tier 3 had not you know, been released. So the content information used the roadmap to understand the system. So that's just a lot of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, Scott driver. Uh, I'm looking for the rate up chances. So some of you are already, so some players are progressing in tier 1 and tier 2. Some players are already in tier 3. And players do want to get to the end game. So. And end game item level will be 1370, right? So those are kind of gated behind this item level. What is it? What to have about uh, pay to win? So they're trying to avoid being pay to win. So we never want player to feel rushed in the quest to hit 1370. So after making the aggro's patch available, the view on the value of Serpent Stone, the end game. To Okay, let's, let's get into the important part. <laughs> we made a mistake releasing the March game update too quickly. Oh, they admit it's a mistake. So, I see. They did realize it's too rushed. However, we're looking into certain variables. Those are very for homing materials. Oh, yes. The factors contributing are scarcity factors for homing materials. Together with the team, they're going to look into... Oh, there's going to be apologize on the early excitement for you know, releasing the patch too early. So, what's the more important part? Uh, so how is in the game we introduce the players are going to there's a lot of blah 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 <laughs> I just want to see the changes Amazon so, so basically for adjustment to monetization from the view so that basically they want us to continue to can progress at our own pace. I goal is to make fine for everyone. I want to see rate up changes. Where, where, where are those? <laughs> so feels like the Legion of Community Monitor. So this is going to be an import. Don't worry. More content is still coming. Horizontal, send, horizontal content like new classes, island, and also contents like Southwind will be released as planned. We'll have more look on the roadmap for April and May in the near future. So we're likely going to see a monthly update, a major update on April and also on May for the new content for new classes, island, and also new new materials to home for tier three and also source van. So now that we'll discuss our approach for the economic content, let's move on to the cosmetic skins. So those are going to be tricky and well, well those will be coming. So <laughs> let's let's look into the next part. So I don't think we miss anything, right? So I'm not the. I think the skin will definitely affect the prices for sure. So another player's parents are home homing. We know that average home player needs have material. Uh, so shortage of tier three materials coupled with problem with bots. Many have homing materials too expensive and important players to combat this. We will supply more progression materials to player in the fine in the game, injecting more gold into the mid to end game, contributing to stance against bots. So. There will definitely be banning bots, and I see how miss bans as well. So bots is a problem that keeps manning up. So the mass ban seems to be working, but they need to ban more. So injection of homing materials. Oh, this is going to be big. So in the next week's update. Oh, so today, this week's update won't have this, but in the next week's update, we'll be adding Grand Packs homing rewards, including a new casual event guardian supply with players with more homing events oh this is going to be big more homing events kick off the season that's going to be really good right nice nice so the event guardian rate so this will be a new event guardian rate so more casual way so this is to get more homing materials to get through the tier and now the price is likely going to fall we'll talk about this next week well i don't think it will affect this week's prices but it will affect next week's prices so in this event so basically this will be a new guardian and the difficulty because it's adjusted according to the number of participants. So anyone who is level item level 250 can participate. And there will be a lot of guardians. So this will be pretty good. Now, we're adding tailoring books and also mental oil books to the reward table for players to increase homing rate. And this will be next week, right? So let me double check. <clears throat> next week's update. Not, not this week. So basically, this is massive. The price of those items are currently pretty high in my server. So let me let me show you guys over here. So 
Notice that those books sell for 34,000 gold and they sell for 1,000 gold for tier 2 ones. The tier 3 one sells for a lot. The tier 2 one still sells for quite sizable. So those will help players to progress to tier 3. And this will be pretty important. So they're not increasing the homing rate, but they're giving us free tailoring books to go for plus 14 to 15. Very important to use those for plus 14 to 15. Now, as we keep going, there is going to be PvP reward. Players are eager, waiting for PvP action. And the PvP reward will also be announced in an article next week, which will give us more weekly homing materials. Very, very massive. And I think you get 60 for losing PvP, 120 for winning a PvP. So those are the honor coins. So this is going to be massive. So they will be continuing to monitor the data of the rates, prices in the game for the economy for players to gather more materials. So in conclusion, completely with gifts, we know there's a lot of above and smoke that will continue to monitor not so far temperate. So, oh, we're getting some new gifts. Oh, animal skin chest. Oh, Makoko pet chest. We're getting a month selection chest and the structure for the, oh, appearance change and getting the films. Oh, not bad. Getting some tones, get legendary cards and get a song box. Oh, look at the skins. Wow, oh, look at that. There is going to be new skins that is coming for free. So, okay, okay, let, let me give you guys a good summary because I was reading this and making this. So firstly, they are aware that they released a patch for aggros too quickly. And also they are aware that there isn't enough content and, you know, they want to give us a little roadmap of what is to come. And because they released a patch too quickly, players do not have enough homing materials to progress forward. And in order to combat this, they are adding the new items and things in for us. So, they're saying they're going to be banning more bots, which is going to be a good thing, very good, because this will destroy the economy, right? As for the homing materials, the the game of Smallgate will be giving us, uh, you know, another way of getting more homing materials next week, which is Guardian Rates, which is the event Guardian Rate. So this will be temporary, but this will give us more homing materials. And also we'll be getting more homing materials in the grab packs in the form of the purple books, which are selling for a lot in each of the servers, especially for the tier three. And finally, as we keep going, the PVP reward will also have the exchange shop, and this will give us more homing materials. And this is going to be massive. So doing PVP weekly is much, much more rewarding. And all together with that, we're also getting bonus gift results, including some very lovely skins and also some pets, which will be quite interesting. And a little month, right? Some more Coco set will be coming as well. Now, what we can take away from this is this does not happen right away, but this might see a uh, this might sh see a shift in prices that I will be making a video very soon because the pricing shift is going to be. How should I say it? So the homing materials, everyone knows that you will get more homing materials. And this means that players might not be buying those homing materials as frequently because there's going to be an injection of homing materials. Players this week might not be buying those homing materials. And I was working on a video to predict the weekly pricing. I'll adjust that as well. So players will know that there will be a lot of homing materials. It is likely players will wait for next week to be progressing to 1,370 instead of rushing this week. So there might be a chance for this as well. And by doing this, I do think, hmm, I do think the prices of certain items in the game will continue to fall, especially, you know, oh, look at that. The Guardian Stones has fallen massively as well as speaking because of the patch changes, right? So yes, the prices of items will continue to fall simply because players think that this will happen, but this is for next week's update. Just be aware of this. The whole scale of this massive fall will come in through next week, but we might see prices falling throughout this week. So definitely be aware of this. And it's important to know that this will happen next week, I believe. And if this is happening next week, we might see some players overreact. Maybe you can profit by buying them cheap, but by the time next week comes, the price of those items will definitely fall. And which is good for most of players, right, to get to 1,370. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and let's get into those materials next week. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.